It's Big Fit TV. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. What is up guys, it's the homie Big Vic back in the building with another video. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about Amazon Relay and how you can book your freight in 2022 and still be successful with Amazon Relay. So most people, when they come into Amazon Relay, you know, they kind of quick to book loads really fast when they see loads pop up on the load board. And a couple of things you have to understand when you are booking freight with Amazon to be in profit is number one, your cost per mile for your truck that you're running. Uh, it's basically your business to start your truck up. Number two, the rate per mile that you are booking. And being that we are driving box trucks with Amazon Relay, you have to understand that box trucks only get paid for going one way, you know, so to be the most profitable in Amazon or with Amazon Relay, you want to make sure that most times when you're booking freight, especially when you're booking your loads out in advance, that you are booking a load going and booking a load coming back. And if that's something that you're not doing, what you would want to be doing then is really, really maximizing or getting paid as much as you can for a trip that's going one way, but that could potentially pay you for a round trip. Okay. So if you're looking at a load, that's something like $2 and 50 cent a mile. If you can pick, pick a load that's over $4 a mile or one of those last minute loads, that's going to pay you pretty much for a round trip, you know, or you could even, uh, maximize that even more than that is if you pick certain, certain loads that pick up and drop off at a certain time, some of those loads can possibly put you in a position or put you in an area where loads are coming back out of there, picking up and going to a post office to bring you back to your original destination. That's a little secret sauce that I use on how I book my loads with Amazon Relay. So I'm not just booking one ways. And if I do book one ways, they tip, they typically pay me for going and coming back. That's like how you want to be booking freight with Amazon. And that's how you're going to really make a majority of your money. Now you can run, you know, uh, let's say you can run seven days a week, right? You can run seven days a week. But because you're booking loads one way and nothing's bringing you back, that means if I book my freight the right way, I may only run four days in that week, but my income is going to definitely supersede what you've made in seven days because you're only booking loads that are going one way. So if I found loads that are paying me double, you know, I, I could potentially run three loads, right? that are paying me for going and paying me for coming back. Let's just say a thousand dollars a piece, just to rattle, just off the top of my head, which I've done before, right? Which I do plenty of times. I'll run that load going, uh, I'll run that load going, going, and the load's bringing me back. Like the amount that I negotiated with Amazon is bringing me back. And we're not even talking about posting a truck. You see, we're talking about me on the phone directly with Amazon. See, that's a whole nother, <laughs> that's some old other songs right there. Y'all. But we ain't gonna get into that right now, all right? But what I'm saying is when you're booking loads at four, five dollars a mile with Amazon, that load is bringing you where you're going and bringing you coming back. But if you're smart, if you're really playing the Amazon game correctly, you are already looking at the destination you're going to or setting yourself up to put your truck in a position to where you're going to be able to pick up another load with Amazon that brings you back. 
Now you done made triple. You got a low coming back and you already had a low that was paying you for going and coming back. This is how you really play this Amazon relay game. A lot of people that are saying that there's no money in it. They're not, they're not running Amazon like that. They're looking at the cheap freight that's on the load board and they're booking those loads and they're wondering why at the end of the week their money's not adding up. That's because you were not booking your freight properly with Amazon. Just because you booked out seven loads for the week, that doesn't mean at the end of the week your money gonna add up, okay? Especially if you don't if you're not picking a freight that is you know paying the numbers that it should be paying i don't just jump on them loads i see on the load board i don't i just don't jump on those loads right so let me pull up the load board real quick for you guys let's see all right so we're on the load board right now 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 quick disclaimer because i'm in my area if something crazy pops up on this load board while i'm doing this video we're going to shut this video down. We're going to shut it down. All right. I'm going to shut it down. This this, 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 this video is going to end right now. <laughs> okay. Just so you guys have a disclaimer. All right. So let's look at this load board. I just want to give you a, a couple of examples of what I'm talking about. Right. So in my area, typically, and you guys see me drop videos like this before where you, you hear me talking about round robins. Right. So that round robin for me typically looks something like, let me stop this from refreshing. Typically looks something like this, all right? So let's say, let's say I see a low like this, right? Because I know my market, I know my regions. Like I know the Columbia market, Columbia, South Carolina market. I know the Charlotte, North Carolina market. I know how the loads move around there. I know the Spartanburg, South Carolina market. I know the Atlanta, Georgia market, and I know the Augusta, Georgia markets very well. I've studied these markets, right? So give you an example. So I know this is coming out of Columbia going to Atlanta, right? You see right here where it says $1.91. This is going to drop on Saturday, right? So I know by the time Saturday gets here, this load is going to be paying way more than $425 going from Columbia to Atlanta. As a matter of fact, Amazon may just call me up for this load because it's going to be sitting on the load board and nobody's really going to book that load at that number unless they're coming into Columbia and got to go home to Atlanta. That's the only way they'll pre-book this load. That's just gas money to get them home, okay? And maybe put $100 in their truck. I mean, in their pocket, right? Or 120, 25, something like that. Somewhere around there to, to, to get them back to Atlanta if they live in Atlanta, right? So let's just say this is me. I booked this load. And if I was to book this load, first of all, this load is going to be paying me close to four or five dollars a mile anyway when I take it. Okay. Just just know that that I'm not running this load for this price, right? Right. So if I book this load automatically, y'all, it's already going to pay me for coming back. I'm going to be getting paid for going and coming back if I touch this load. That's number one right so when i'm on my way out to atlanta i got a couple of options i'm gonna be watching the load board to see what's leaving out of atlanta potentially coming back to either charlotte or uh georgia or right, somewhere close you know out, out of, in georgia or coming to south carolina greenville one one of these places i'm looking to see if load is coming back in that area now if i don't catch nothing out of atlanta I know the Augusta market. I know the Applin, Georgia market. You see these loads, Applin, Georgia? I already know to be watching the load board because if I drop this load off right here, I'm going to potentially, uh, there's a possibility that I may catch a load coming out of Applin, Georgia to bring me back to Columbia or close to Columbia. You know, I'll take a load from Applin, Georgia to Augusta, Georgia. That's still gas money that's going to get me back. That's still extra money that I will make on top of what I've already ran with Amazon. You see what I'm saying? That I that I ran going down there. So a lot of times you guys will see me running this load right here. I'll go from Columbia, 
to Raleigh Durham. The last time I ran this load, I made I paid I got paid nine hundred and seventy five dollars, right? That's that load typically is a load paying me for going and coming back. So what do I do? I come back through Charlotte. Why do I come back through Charlotte? Because I typically around the time I'm typically dropping this load off, there's gonna be a load going from Charlotte back to Columbia to a post office. That's one post office. I'm not talking about taking a load that's going to three and four post office routes. No, I'm talking about one post office drop. Easy peasy. Okay? That's what they call easy money. Right? So I typically catch that Charlotte market coming back to Columbia. I'm giving up too much juice right now. This 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 too much. I'm, I shouldn't be giving this away like this. I shouldn't be giving it away. But to the person that told me thank you when I pulled up uh, at Appling, Georgia, dropping off a load from out of, from Columbia, um, I don't know who you were, but you you shouted out your truck, Big Vic, thank you. And I, you know, we was just passing. You just said, Big Vic, thank you, and I just put my hand out the window, gave you the, you know, what I'm saying the, the salute, thank you, bro. Because see, these videos are gonna help. The hungry people. These videos are going to help the people that are not complaining about everything that they could possibly think of in trucking. This, these videos are going to help the people that are hungry and ready to work. These videos are going to help the people that are not commenting on every other video that they see on YouTube about the freaking fuel prices. Tell people about the fuel prices. I don't have to tell people about the fuel prices in every freaking video. We've already covered this stuff. Listen, stay hungry. Follow the blueprint. I'm giving away gems on this on, on, on Amazon Relay. Got even more inside of the course. Right? So if you follow and understand your markets listen when you when you when you get in this business and you start running amazon relay study your low board study the loads when they drop for early access look at the loads and the times that those loads are coming out you know i, I like to do one two i don't like to do one three four five loads that's not me that's how you burn yourself out with amazon relay i'm not running those loads unless it's paying me fifteen hundred dollars i'm not running no four and five loads with Amazon as far as post office routes. I rarely do post office runs now. But I catch a post office run coming out of Charlotte if I'm already in that area. You see what I'm saying? So you got to study your load board. You got to understand your market. You know, when you have a lot of Amazon facilities around you. You can really ping pong and really make some moves, make some things happen. Like you can get it in. You can get it in. I know people that's doing two and three routes a day with Amazon Relay. And guess what? They not crying about fuel prices. They making their money. And they going home and they going to sleep like a baby. Not complaining. Not complaining. So master that formula master that formula watching the loads if i know a load is picking up early morning like this right here like look at this load picking up at 4 15 in the morning dropping off at 10 22 a.m in the morning going to raleigh durham so i know if i book a load like this this has to pay me for going and coming back because the chances of me getting a load coming out of charlotte in the in the daytime Coming back to Columbia is going to be slim to none. That's not going to happen. Unless I just hang out in Charlotte for the entire day. So I know that's a no-no. But if I'm running at nighttime. If I'm picking up at like. Uh, let's say 9.15. And I'm dropping off at Raleigh Durham. And I'm getting there like 12. Something like that. Uh, midnight. I know around 2.15. 3 a.m. in the morning. In Charlotte. The postal routes are going to drop. Like the leftover loads are going to drop. Where they need maybe, you know, a few more packages picked up and dropped off at a post office. I know I can catch those. I know that's going to be money waiting for me. Or I'll just sit there and watch the load board while I'm in transit. 
while I'm headed there, as soon as I see it, boom, I'm booking it. And it's always paying decent because I'm going back home. It's always paying good. So that's pretty, that's like kind of like some of my Amazon formulas that I use to stay consistently making numbers with Amazon Relay. That's why you don't hear me complaining. Gas prices are high, but that's not something I'm going to continuously keep harping over like in every other video. That's not something I'm going to do. I'm not a complainer. I'm an action taker. You feel me? I'm not a complainer. I'm an action taker. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm into getting results, creating results. You know what I'm saying? Figuring the system out. That's what you have to do. Whatever area you're in. If you're not in an area, go to an area and run it just like I'm like I just said how I'm doing. You feel what I'm saying? Like if you going if you want to if you want to make the numbers, you got to kind of like create a system similar to how I've been running this thing. So, that's my that's 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 that's, that's what I do, you know what I'm saying, to, to stay consistent and stay profitable with Amazon Relay. You know, and if they ever start calling your phone, just know the bag gonna hit different. Just know the bag gonna hit different. So I just wanted to drop that on y'all, man. So just so y'all have a better understanding, a, a better idea of how, you know, you could really maximize the Amazon relay system. And I'm gonna always tell you guys this. Don't rely solely on Amazon relay when you're running your truck. You know what I'm saying? Mix it up. Mix it up. But if Amazon hitting you with the bag, keep getting it period all right so i just wanted to drop this quick video for y'all guys man and and, and kind of update this amazon relay uh business uh because i'm i'm, I'm noticing you know i'm looking I'm, i just gotta go through the rates right now you know i'm noticing they're they're adjusting you know they're adjusting in, 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 some, in some spots they are adjusting and i'm noticing a lot of people are not taking some of these loads that are up here that's a good thing that means Amazon know they got to up the numbers if they want it moved. Y'all keep up the good work out there. You know what I'm saying? Just don't be grabbing anything off the load board. If it don't make sense, don't book it. All right? It's your homie, Big Vic. You need to tap in. You need that consultation. Hit me up. You need, you need a game plan. You need me to kind of kind of go over this with you in your area. We look at the load board and see what it looks like in your area. Hit me up. I already know all the links are down below in the description box. If you want to hit me up, you need that one-on-one -on -one with me, let me know. Let's get it. Tap in with your boy. It's the homie Big Vic TV. You already know what it is. Always hustle. Never stop growing. Till the next video. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's see, baby. Right now, I know I'm yours, baby. So come give me love. You know you're my baby. So come give me love. Every time we can